How's it going, YouTubers? Check out this Polymer 5000 uh, mobile uh, sideband FM uh, export radio. It's got the channel bands A through F. Uh, it's like 25 to 28. Uh, big spectrum there. Anyway, long story short on this is um, I had this radio in a uh, Cobra 29 uh, LTD Classic and uh, from an old boy. And uh, I took a look at the... Uh, LTD and got it fixed and I got to looking at this and gave my holler and said look dude it's gonna it's gonna take some bench time um, there's gonna less definitely be a couple hours in this thing to figure out what's going on and uh, anyway after we talked a while he said tell you what you know just uh, if, you, if you're willing to I'll give you the polymer for uh, for the repair for the 29 so basically uh, I'm in this radio for about 35 40 bucks is what I'm in um, it uh it was definitely a real head scratcher um i got so lucky last couple repairs i've had have been a uh, like hooked up backwards a couple dials well this sucker here did not want to play nice um basically what i had when i started out was is i had a it would power on um seemed to be functioning fine uh transmit but no audio on the transmit no modulation and uh no receive audio and uh, no speaker audio so anyway uh i'm like what the heck is going on so uh I, uh, anyway, basically what I did to repair this, which I, I don't think you wanted to see me spin around for four hours tracing. The big catch of this is, is I searched high and low and I could not find any schematics on it. So I had to go in this repair basically blind and just do a uh, signal tracing. I mean, it's the only way I could come up with a way to, uh, to try to troubleshoot it. So basically what I did is I took my, uh, signal generator up here and I created a signal tone and, you know, and I could see on the S meter it was receiving it, but obviously I wasn't hearing it through the audio. And then I just used my oscilloscope and uh, started tracing back and uh, basically just kept following the signal until I couldn't find any signal. And uh, man, it, it took forever. Um, it kept making no sense to me. I mean, it was uh, the, the PLL was working fine. The oscillator was working fine. It just had no. So I, I got to thinking it's got to be over here on this audio chip, which the audio chip's right over here. So I got to searching around there and lo and behold, which I'm not even sure what this capacitor does like i said i don't have the schematics so i'm kind of guessing it. i'm guessing somehow it couples it but uh anyway this little capacitor right here was the whole problem with the radio uh, it's a it's just a 470 uh microfarad uh, capacitor 16 volter and uh basically after i signaled I, I got into here and uh, i got over here to audio and i could still tell i wasn't getting any audio signal I was getting audio output, but no signal for the for the radio, no PLL or anyway, no signal coming in. So I hit one side of it. What's weird is this: this had went to short. I'd have been probably a lot better. I'm guessing it probably would have created a hum in the radio, and that might have been a little easier to trace down. But uh, basically, because this is an open capacitor, which it looks fine, but uh, believe me, it's it's totally open. It's a uh, it's basically uh, two prongs with air in between. So it wasn't passing any signal through at all. But uh, anyway, uh, if you ever run into this symptom on one of these uh, these polymer 500s or 5000s, uh, you might want to look at this capacitor. I think it's called, uh, let me get in here. And it is C162 is the capacitor that I uh, ended up finding that was, uh, which like I said, it was open. It wasn't, uh, wasn't shorted, which typically capacitors go to short. It was just a flat open capacitor, but... Uh, Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and button this radio up now. I just got it running. Like I said, I'm sorry. I, I had good intentions of uh, doing a whole troubleshooting on it, but I kind of got into the, the mode of just trying to figure out what was going on and uh, and get her going. So anyway, um, we'll go ahead and button her up, and uh, I'll kind of show you how she performs. I mean, it's a pretty cool little radio. I'm, like I said, I'm 40 in it. I think, uh, I mean, it's it's definitely worth more than 40. It's probably a $150 radio, easy, $200 radio. I mean, it's a mobile uh, sideband and FM, and uh, it's an export, so it has all the extra channels in it. So it's a pretty cool little radio. It's got um, three power levels and uh, RF gain on a switch, DX local and mid, and thing and else seems to be working good on it. But anyway, I'll get it bundled up and kind of show you what it looks like. Could use a little more cleaning. Um, it's definitely been around. You can tell by the wear on the knobs. But uh, but um, hey, all the displays work and. Uh, I got her running now, so hold on a second and I'll uh, get her buttoned up and we'll look at her all cleaned up and uh, back together. Okay, here's my polymer all back together now and all of her glory. It definitely could use some more cleaning, but uh, I got most of the 
rust off of it anyway and cleaned all the variable resistors and all the knobs and everything and uh, she works 100%. I'm really tickled with it. Uh, uh, it's really quiet. Squelch works great. As you can tell, as you can tell it now has audio. That's the one thing it didn't have before is none of that and it didn't have any uh, Hello, out of mind. Audio, audio. Didn't have no uh, modulation, but anyway. So let's take a look here. Uh, it's uh, the uh, the fine course on the on the uh, S SSB is unlocked, which I and I kind of like and don't like. It kind of gives you the option to uh, to you know go in between channels, but at the same course, it's also unlocked on AM. So if you mess with the the course it will actually slide the channel a little bit but, uh, but it's pretty much spot on frequency about what one kilohertz low and I could slide it over there but uh, you're not that's not noticeable when you're transmitting but uh, yeah, she's definitely a talker um, hell audio hell audio Mind you, that's RMS, and uh, I, you know I thought about tweaking her, but I'm gonna leave her right where she at because really this radio is set up right now where it'd be perfect behind an amp. Um, it's dead keen about two, two and a half watts, swinging right about five, and that's on RMS. Um, peak probably uh, same thing, two and a half, probably swinging eight or nine. Um, definitely a, a, a rocking little radio here. Cool thing is everything works. You know I got to do a little research trying to find a. Uh, service manual on this and uh basically this was made for like three years in the early 80s from like 81 84 something like that and uh it's japanese made that's probably why it's still running today i mean this poor thing looks like it's set and rode around in vehicles and set on shelves and god knows what but uh and what did i have i had one open capacitor that uh i had her down but anyway she's all back up and running uh, uh what is uh if i go we can go all the way to Channel one here. I was gonna see what the spread is. So band A channel one. So what about a two megahertz span? That covers definitely everything in CB and everything else. So. Twenty-eight seven fifty-four. So that's actually two hundred and fifty uh, kilohertz above the handband. So this will definitely do ten meter and eleven meter. So this is definitely a ten meter, eleven meter radio, and I believe C. Yeah, C is CB channel. That's cool. So band C is the center, which is the CB channel. But uh, anyway, as you can tell, everything's working like it should be. Sorry I didn't uh, go through and uh, and uh, show you my my troubleshooting on the board. But like I said, I got really down into it, and and I kind of just lost track of time. And you know, it takes time to do these videos, and. I'm trying to trying to build a subscriber base. I know, and uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, I still gotta gotta make some money and, and do some repairs too. And uh, I'm not even a thousand, so I haven't made a dime on on the hundred plus videos I put in there. So anyway, I'm still making them. You know, still trying. But uh, hopefully, you like this little video. If anything, it's kind of a cool video on a an old school Polymer 5000. I had never even seen one before, so it's a definitely. I bet you there's not maybe a few thousand of these around I don't know I haven't I, I even looked on eBay I didn't see any for sale and uh, I did find a few pictures on Google of them but uh, they, they had another name that they named them too I can't remember what off the head but uh, but it looked like it was the same radio but uh, but I did find out basically it was made from like 81 84 something like it's made like three years and uh, I mean component wise it's rock solid and it was kind of surprised me it's kind of a mechanical relay in it but uh anyway hope you enjoyed this uh, little video um, it was kind of a repair video at least I kind of showed you what the problem was and what the result was, which was the capacitor C162 was open. And uh, if you get a, you might want to check that if you're running into a problem with uh, one of these radios that doesn't have any receive audio and uh, no modulation. Uh, this little guy right here was definitely the culprit. Anyway, have a great day. This is Electron Man.